Welcome to WAC All Access. I'm Eric Danner along with Kansas City women's basketball coach J.C. Hoyt. Coach, welcome to the show. Uh, basketball practice starting in October. Tell us a little bit about when you started and how it's going so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we started uh, just a couple weeks ago, right about October 1, and uh, it's been fun. We, you know, every, every year just feels totally different. You might have the same players, you might not, um, but regardless, it's always going to feel different. But we, um, I would say our culture is probably in the best place that it's been since I've been here. So anytime you've got that foundation set, I think that's, you know, going to uh, lead to great things, and we're really excited. Your third season as head coach, uh, you had your best record, or Kansas City had their best record in eight years, 16 and 15 last year. What are some goals for this season? You know, we of course always want to pay, want to play in the postseason. Um, but honestly, we don't talk a whole lot about goals and and you know records. Um, we more so focus just on the process of getting better each and every day. And we feel like if we uh, just continue to raise our standards and push each other each day, then good things are going to be a byproduct of that. Erica Mattingly came in last year, transferred from junior college, and made a huge splash in the WAC, led the conference away in points, steals, assists. What does she do for an encore? You know, she is just, she's a special player. I mean, she can do it all, just like you said, um, to lead the, the conference in all of those categories, I think um, is a huge testament to the, the great player that she is, but also just the fact that she's willing to do whatever it takes to help her team win. We've really, as a coaching staff, put a, a great effort into um, just surrounding herself with um, more weapons than what we had last year so that maybe she doesn't have to carry quite the load that she did last season. And I'm so proud of our returning players for really, um, you know, investing in themselves and, and elevating their game. And with the newcomers that we have coming in, I, I feel like they're going to make a, a big impact as well. Well, you do have Erica back. You mentioned you have some newcomers coming in. You lost a few players from last year. So who are some faces that uh, Kansas City fans might be looking for this year? Well, Christina Soriano, our post player from last season, has really uh, just had a great couple weekends, or I'm sorry, weeks of practice. She's had a great off season. She looks just like a totally different player, a lot more confidence. Emily Ivory, I could say the same thing about. Uh, last year, she was more of a three-point specialist. This season, I think she's going to be able to score the ball in different ways. Um, Jada Mickens is a player that we got out of um, Hutchinson Community College, a really well-known program, really well-respected, and uh, I believe that she's going to make a splash. Um, and actually, we have a kind of a surprise player that we've been pleasantly surprised with. Her name is Lauren West. And uh, we were her only Division I offer coming out of high school. And then she went off her senior year and won a state championship and got named state tournament MVP. And she hasn't, she hasn't slowed down from that state tournament. She's really looked great in practice, and um, we're going to ask a lot of her. Now the schedule, uh, non-conference, you're playing the WNIT out in California this year. What, uh, what do you hope to accomplish in that experience? Yeah, that experience is going to be great for us, just to battle test us early, give us a great um, you know, road game type atmosphere, um, tournament style atmosphere. And so we're excited to just face some of that great competition that we know we're going to see in that tournament. We feel like we're going to be better in the long run because of that. We also have a couple of Power 5 schools coming to play you in Kansas City. Uh, you have Missouri on December 8th, December 14th, Kansas State, you get to play at the Muni. Yeah, that's going to be fun. You know, uh, coaching at K-State prior to uh, Kansas City, um, those people are always going to have a really special place in my heart. Um, doesn't mean I don't want to beat them, but um, it's just going to be a fun kind of reunion for us and um, to play in such an, an awesome auditorium like Municipal is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but I think the Missouri game is probably the game we're most excited about just because it's truly a home game for us. So. That is Kansas City coach J.C. Hoyt, and this has been Whack All Access.